afternoon and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. Indonesian authorities on Wednesday ramped up efforts to find 37 people feared buried by the collapse of an illegal gold mine on the island of Sulawesi that killed at least four people. Rescuers pulled out 19 badly injured miners and found four others dead. Officials said they could hear the voices of some of those trapped in makeshift mining shafts in a muddy hillside and believed many were still alive. The injured were carried to a nearby hospital where families had gathered to wait for news. Indonesia's Disaster Mitigation Agency said at least 60 officials and volunteers were involved in the rescue effort but were using simple tools because conditions remain dangerous with the land still prone to shifting and sliding. The Indonesian government has banned such small-scale gold mining projects, although regional authorities often turn a blind eye to the practice in more remote areas. With little regulation, such mines are prone to accidents. Armed resilience attacked on Ebola Treatment Center in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo on Wednesday, setting the center on fire and a gun battle with security forces. The identity and motive of the assailants were unclear. Dozens of armed militia also regularly attack civilians and security forces in eastern Congo's borderlands with Uganda and Rwanda, which has significantly hampered the response to the disease. The health ministry said in a statement that 38 suspected Ebola patients and 12 confirmed cases were in the center at the time of the attack. Four of the patients with confirmed cases fled and are being looked for. He added none of the patients who have been accounted for were injured, nor were any staff members. The attack in the city of Butembo was the second in Congo's Ebola hit east this week. On Sunday, unidentified assailants set fire to a treatment center in the nearby town of Katwa, killing a nurse. And that is all for me. I'm Yume Sarani for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.